Hello everyone, welcome back to my math channel. This is Mr. Mahmoud explaining Algebra 2, Chapter 6, Lesson Number 2, Solving Exponential Equations and Inequalities. Let B greater than 0 and B is not equal to 1, then B to the power of X equals B to the power of Y, if and only if X equals Y means if the two bases are the same then the two powers are the same and vice versa example if 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 5 then x is equal to 5 means the power is equal to the power if x is equal to 5 then 3 to the power of x equals 3 to the power of 5 Now let's solve this equation 3 to the power of x equals 9 to the power of 4. First step we try to make them same bases means the base here is 3. I'll try to express this base which is 9. I'll try to express it as 3 to the power of 2. Let's see how. This is the original equation. So we replace the 9 with 3 to the power of 2. Now 3 to the power of 2 all to the power of 4 we multiply powers so it will be 3 to the power of 8. Bases are the same so powers are the same so x equals 8. The answer x equals 8. You can go back and check you can take this 8 replace it with x use your calculator to evaluate 3 to the power of 8 check whether uh, is it equal to 9 to the power of 4 or what problem b solve the equation 2 power 5 x equals 4 power to x minus 1 this is the original equation so we are focusing on the 4 to make it 2 Replace the 4 by 2 to the power of 2. Don't forget the old power to x minus 2. Now this 2 will be distributed. So 2 times 2x will give you 4x. 2 times 1 will be 2. Now cancel the bases. Take the powers. 5x equals 4x minus 2. Now if you take this 4x to the other side. Subtract 4x. Subtract 4x. So x equals negative 2 this way we can do here minus 4x and here minus 4x those will disappear and 5x minus 4x will give you x equals negative 2 and also you can take negative 2 back to the original equation to check whether the left hand side is equal to the right hand side or not So the answer x equals negative 2. Now solve the equation 4 to the power of x equals 64 to the power of 3. Is it a, b, c or d? So we leave 4 to the power of x as is. 64, we all know that 64 is 4 to the power of 3. Don't forget the old power 3. So 4 to the power of x remains. Powers will be multiplied. So 4 to the power of 9. Cancel the bases. So x should equal to 9. The right answer is 9. Now another example. Solve the equation 3 to the power of 2x equal 9 to the 5x minus 4. Of course, if you don't want to solve, you can try. You can try 1, substitute with 1, check if the left-hand side equals the right-hand side or not. Substitute with 2, 4, and 5 for you to know which uh, choice will be accurate. But now, I would like to uh, show you how to solve 3 to the power of 2x, leave it as is. 
express this 9 as 3 to the power of 2 don't forget the old power 5x minus 4 now this 2 will be distributed so 3 to the 2x equals 3 to the 2 times 5 10x minus 2 by 4 is 8 now cancel the bases take 2x is equal to 10x minus 8 so uh, let's get x's in one side by subtracting minus 10x from this side minus 10x from this side this one got cancelled 2x minus 10x is negative 8x equals negative 8 so we will divide by negative 8 for both sides will give you x equals 1 so the accurate choice x equals 1 real world example in 2010 the population of fine x was 1,445,632 by 2015 it was estimated that 1,563,025 write an exponential function that could be used to model the population of fine x write x in terms of the numbers of years since 2010 so 2010 is the start at the beginning of the timeline in 2010 x is zero this is the beginning x is zero and the population was in this case 1,445,632 thus the y intercept and the value of a is this one exactly at 2010 when x is equal to 5 by 2015 x will be 5 the population is 1,563,025 substitute these values into an exponential function to determine the value of b so this is the form of the exponential equation or exponential function y equals ax a b to the power of x now let's substitute y as the new number 1,563,025 a is the start, 1,445,632 and for 5 years and we need to know the b so first we will divide both sides by this number to get b to the power of 5 alone then we will make the fifth root using calculator to know the value of b the value of b is approximately 1.0157 now you can take it back to you can take it back to the function to express y equals 1,445,632 multiplied by 1.0157 all to the power of x such that this number is the start at uh, 2010 and x is the number of years after 2010 So in 2010 the population of Phoenix was 1,445,632 and by 2015 it was estimated that 1,563,025 predict the population of Phoenix in 2025 2025 means x will be 15 2025 minus 2010 so x is 15 now we substitute in our uh, modeling equation with x equals 15 use your calculator to evaluate so uh, the population approximately will be 1,826,163 now in 2000 the population of the town of 
Tisdale was 9,426. By 2007, it was estimated at 17,942. Write an exponential function that could be used to model the population of Tisdale. Write x in terms of the numbers of years since 2000. So try to pause the video and try to solve the problem then check your choice the accurate choice should be D it's clear that this is the start and X will represent the number of years after 2000 Now, in 2000, the population of the town of Tisdale was 9,426. By 2007, it was estimated at 17,142. Predict the population of Tisdale in 2012. Of course, in 2012, you will substitute x as 12 in the previous, uh, in the previous equation that you discovered. The previous equation it was y equals 9426 times 1.0963. If you substitute x as 12, you will find it this number. Now, compound interest. You can calculate compound interest using the following formula A equals P times 1 plus R over N all to the power of NT A is the amount in the account after T years means A is your final balance P is the principal amount invested the original money, the capital money, the deposited money R is the annual interest the rate n is the number of compounding periods each year and of course t is the number of years that you are going to leave your money in this kind of investment an investment account pays 5.4 annual interest so this is the r Compounded quarterly, quarterly means four times a year. So in this case, n equals four. If four thousand is placed in this account, this is the p, the principal. Is placed in this account. Find the balance after eight years. This is the t, the time, and we need to find the a. So. Let's find the balance of the account after 8 years. Let's use the compound interest formula. P equals 4000, R equals 0 0.054. Of course, we divided 5.4 by 100 to transform from decimal into, uh, to transform from percent into decimal. And N is 4 because quarterly is mentioned and T is 8. Just direct substitute in the formula. Uh, P is 4000, R is 0 0.054, N is 4, N, T, 4 times 8. And in this case, you can find the balance is $6,143.56. Now you can go back and check y equals 4000 times 1.0135 all to the power 40 and use calculator value to find y when x is equal to 8 so the y value as it appears on the calculator is really uh, very close to the value we estimate Now, an investment account pays 4.6% per 
annual interest compounded quarterly if six thousand fifty dollars is placed in this account find the balance after six years let's summarize the uh, information so the rate is 4.6 percent means 0 0.046 and uh, if 6050 is placed with a P the principal is 6050 and this account find the balance after six years and the T is six interest compounded quarterly so the N is four and we use the formula a equals p times 1 plus r over n all to the power of nt replace everything evaluate using calculator and you will find it 7960.43 dollars which is c uh, now for the inequality let b bigger than 1, then b to the power of x greater than b to the power of y, if and only if x is bigger than y, b to the power of x smaller than b to the power of y, if and only if x smaller than y. So if 2 to the power of x greater than 2 to the power of 6, for sure x, the power x will be greater than 6, and vice versa, if x greater than 6, then 2 to the power of x will be bigger than 2 to the power of 6, and so on. So we will deal with it as uh, as if it's an equation, but the only difference is the sign. So let's solve this one. 5 to the power of 3 minus 2x is bigger than 1 over 625. We all know that 625 is 5 to the power of 4. So we can change this one into 5 to the power of negative 4 because it's in denominator and we need it in uh, numerator. So now we can cancel the bases for 3 minus 2x will be bigger than negative 4 and now we can minus 3 for the left hand side minus 3 for the right hand side so negative 2x will be greater than negative 7 now we should divide by negative 2 for both sides but pay attention because when we divide by negative we flip the direction of inequality so it will be x smaller than 7 over 2. So the answer x smaller than 7 over 2. Now, uh, pause the video and try to solve this one. Check whether it's A, B, C, or D. And you will find it C. Let me show you how. 243 is like 3 to the power of so 3 to the power of 4 minus 3x will be bigger than 3 to the negative 5 because it's in denominator and I need it up in the numerator I can cancel the bases now so 4 minus 3x will be bigger than negative 5 now let's subtract 4 subtract 4 so negative 3x will be bigger than negative 9 let's divide both sides by negative 3 so x will be the sign will be flipped x will be smaller than positive 3 so this is an accurate solution by this my dear students we come to the end of our lesson for today till we meet again goodbye